Yo. What's good? It's your boy Nesta Kid. Oh man. Hold on. Hold on. Yo. What's good? It's your boy Nesta Kid. Oh. Out of that Long Island. It's not even close. Oh. You know the vibes. Oh man. Wait. Long Island? Forty K on the piece. Ooh. You see the vibes, new birthday piece. Ooh. You know the vibes. When did you get birthday? My birthday was yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're getting into it. Uh how old are you turn, bro? I turned twenty. Oh, you only 20? I'm only, bro, I'm 20 doing this out Damn. here. These bums, you know what I'm saying? I'm only 20 out here, so <laughs> you know the vibes, bro. Yeah, you run it, you run it. Do you feel like you're the hottest one in Long Island right now? I mean, it's it's not even a feeling, it's a fact. Um, Damn. Check, I mean, check the numbers, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, first rapper to get verified. I think only rapper to get verified. Mm-hmm. Most streamed, most followed, most talked about. Mm-hmm. It's not even close. You know, it's a... Uh, it's just a recurring topic for people coming out of Long Island to try and start beef with me, claim this, claim that. Mm-hmm. They're bums. They, they haven't done shit. You right. know what I'm saying? They, they never done shit in their life. Uh-huh. And it just don't work. It's not going to work. And I'm not going to respond to them either. Not you get what I'm saying? Them. That's exactly what they be trying to do. They're trying to get a response out of me. It ain't going to happen. Oh, you feel well, me? so people be trying to... Um I guess talk with you so you could say something about them so they could blow up. Exactly. I'm not going to give them any clout, any response, and that's what they don't get. They, mm-hmm. they post me on their story. They say this, this, and that about me. Mm-hmm. You're not going to get a... Re- the only way you're going to benefit from that is if I respond to you, and I'm not going to respond to you. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Nah, so, I feel you. That's the vibes. So, so when people um, you know, coming at you and all that, does it make you feel more confident though, like you're really doing something right? Yeah, because they've been saying this now. I've been doing this for just about two years. They've been saying they're going to catch me. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. When people threatened you. Of course. Oh, that type of shit. Of oh, course, bro. Shit. And multiple oh. times. And net completely untouched. All my jewelry. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm too deep. Yeah, you, you know the came vibes. in with one bro. Bro. I came in with one bro. It's because I'm not scared of this because mm-hmm. they just talking. Right. You, you get what I'm saying? Right. So... You know, I feel you. they can't cast the kid. I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest here. Nah, right. <laughs> you got you got what I'm saying? What part of Long Island are you from? So I'm from like Huntington, like okay. Suffolk County. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's like in the middle? Yeah, it's in the middle. It's right. in the middle. Right. Uh, you know where the Paramount is? Yeah, actually. That's that's where it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. that's dope. That's dope. Is there any other um, rappers from your crew? Do you got any rappers that uh, you fuck with? Or you just right now for Dolly? Um, in my crew, it's just me. Mm-hmm. Um, I got rappers I fuck with, like, Fetty Wops, the big bro. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Been in the studio with him. Mm-hmm. But there's not really anyone coming out of Long Island other than me, to be okay. honest. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, what happened, like, you know, I know you're not going to respond, but what if somebody sees this and be like, I'm from Long Island, too? Uh, 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 like, you know. They're going to say that. Uh, okay. That's, that's going to happen. That's okay. been happening from, from the jump, you okay, feel me? Okay, right. It's, it's the, everyone... If you don't have haters, you're not lit. That's a fact. That's, that's how you know what I'm saying? If you don't have people saying this, saying that, making these claims out of their ass, mm-hmm. you're not lit. No. You know what I'm saying? If no one's talking, you're you're a bum. Right. <laughs> I'm just being honest with right. you. You're a right. bum. Right. You right. feel me? The you bums sit around talking about the lit people. Exactly. You that's how it is. We yeah. get money, so they hate. Uh-huh. That's simple. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Yo, so I... um. I seen a video you had, man. You kind of got like a um a melodic type style and yeah, all that. Yeah, facts. Tell it's, people about like you know um some of the um the music you got out and all that. Um yeah, no, it's a melodic type, definitely melodic type. Um, I feel like it's like kind of different from what people are doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a different image and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's definitely different. Um, mm-hmm. it's like a melodic trap kind of shit, like uh like island type shit. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So. Um, and it's been working, you know what I'm saying? I just hit um, 10 million total plays. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I've seen you share that. Yeah, congratulations, bro. Yeah, no, nah, facts. We going up fast. What know? song was that? Oh. Uh, so it's 10 million combined plays, but okay. um, Molly Girl has 3 million plays mm-hmm. on Spotify. Um, Famous has 2 million. Love Me has a million, so we're just going up fast. Which you know one was the one you used in front? Um, I think you uh, hopped out the, what's it, uh, um, Rolls you hopped out? Yeah, of? that was Molly Girl. That was Molly oh, Girl. I like that one, yeah, man. Nah. That one fire, bro. Yeah, no, nah, It's facts. still playing in my head and shit. Like, yeah, no, nah, facts. I try like, to make, it's catchy like that. Exactly. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? I try to make, like, the negative experiences in my life, I try to put a positive spin on it and make uh-huh. it, like, you know, positive to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Of course, of Some course. shit you can listen to. Nah, of course. So, um, what motivated you for that song? Who motivated you? Um... You know, just coming up from like, you know, I was homeless actually. Mm -hmm. Um, After high school, I was homeless, you know what I'm saying? So 
like I said, I try and put a positive spin on like the negative experiences on my life. Wait, before you finish, get into that. You you was homeless. Yeah, so basically... A teenager. You know? Yeah, so th this is how it happens. So uh -huh. this is where like a lot of the uh, like controversy comes from the people in my hometown who think they know me. So basically, growing up until like 16, I lived a normal ass life. Mm -hmm. Normal life, no cap, I'm being honest with you. Mm -hmm. Middle class, everything, two parents, everything. What happened is, at the age of about, I was 16, my dad got sick. Mm. Okay? So, and they couldn't keep up with the bills of living on Long Island then anymore. Mm -hmm. So without like incriminating myself, I, I started doing some shit um, mm -hmm. and they moved. They moved out of state, they moved across the country mm -hmm. and I was kind of just left to fend for myself. So uh -huh. at the age of 17, I was just about to turn 18, um, after I graduated high school, I was living in the car, I was sleeping at friends' houses. So for like a solid year, I was really, I was really just in the car. You get what I'm saying? Well, you was on your own. Yeah, no, definitely. I created this shit, you know, Obviously, there's people that help me, but I, I got it out from, you know, that's why it's like people be saying like, oh, I know you, I knew you, I knew you, this and that, because I went to high school with them, but they don't know what happened after high school. You get what I'm saying? Okay, right. They don't know that part of your they struggle. Don't, they don't know that part, and okay. they'll never know the nights. I say this, they, they don't know two things. They'll never know the nights in the cold car in winter, and they don't know while I'm at the bank now. Mm -hmm. So they'll never know that shit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I put in the work and I'm here where I am and that's why I stand behind that because I put in the work, you feel me? Right. So, um, you know, you had nights, you had to stay in the car and you had, um, you know, during those times, did it ever make you say like, yo, fuck, I'm gonna go move back with my parents or anything like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was really thinking that. No, I was, oh God, I was really <laughs> close. To, I, I mean, I just kept reminding myself like, you know, I'm, I don't want to be a bum. Yeah. I'm gonna get the shit. I'm gonna get the shit off my ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna mm -hmm. hustle. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Um, and I drove out to LA with two hundred dollars in my bank account. Wow. I drove out to LA from and from New York to LA. The first time I was out there while I was you know sleeping in my car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all in the past. So okay. I, I made it out from that storm. Uh, you feel me? Nah, right, right. Facts. And I seen someone leave a comment saying, what storm you ever been through? Did you see that comment? There's all the comments. Okay, man. all right, you know, all right. You know I see, you see, I did my research. Yeah, it's, right, right, no, right. facts. Okay. It's, bro, it's all the comments, you know what I'm saying? There's, uh -huh. there's going to be haters. There's going to, there's been tons of haters, but, you know, if they don't want to believe that, that's fine. You know, mm -hmm. I'm winning. Right. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. You of know course. what I'm saying? They don't, they don't got to believe me. You mm -hmm. know, that's, that's what happened. It's, it's my life. How are you telling me? my life how would you tell me what i went through right. that you you don't know me you know yeah, what i'm saying exactly. it's crazy you know what i'm saying and um yeah mm -hmm. facts nah real shit real shit so you know right now you said you run long island do you listen what motivated you to um rap is any brooklyn artist what you fuck with actually from new jersey fetty wap actually oh, okay. so it's like all my right. inspiration all right. um so basically while i was in high school i went to um I went to a Fetty Wap concert, mm -hmm. and I must have been like 17, and like, ever since then, I was like, I want to do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And I met him back, and uh, he showed me love, you know what I'm saying? So, wow. that's been, you know, that was, that's really like my role model for that shit, you feel uh, me? That's crazy, because that's the first person you shouted out, and you was like, what's your name, Fetty Wap, bro? Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, that's that's really, that's that's love, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. been, been with him at the studio, and um you know, it's crazy how that shit like manifests. You get what I'm saying? No, of course, of course. You put in the work, you know, shit can happen. No, yeah, that's right. That's right. What's the next, um, what's, what's the next joint you're dropping? Um, so I got this record called Doubt Me. Um, mm -hmm. when are you putting this out? This will be out about five to ten days. Out. So like, from when it's out, like a week after that, I got mm -hmm. my biggest song coming out. Um, that shit gonna do numbers. Um, I got some shit with Fetty on the way. Um, anyone else? Not really. I'll be I'll be on my dolo shit. You feel mm. me? You know what I'm saying? I'll be I'll be on my dolo shit because uh, you know that's just how it is. You know. Uh, uh, so you're trying to get it by yourself first. Yeah. Mm. No. Facts. I mean, that's how that's how it's been from the start. Like, if they wasn't showing me love from the beginning, why would I? Why would I rock with them now? You feel me? Now that I'm in a winning position, you feel me? Uh, you're right, bro. You're right. Yeah. You know. You're only 20 years old, man. You pretty, you know, you got, you got a pretty damn pack right now. Yeah, no, lie, I mean, I got, I got my <laughs> shit together. You feel me? Nah. I got my shit together. I can see and, that, uh, bro. You know, so that's pretty much how it is right now. You feel me? Right. 
Um, you gonna shoot a video for that one? Yeah, most definitely, most definitely video. Um, and just keep leveling up on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you work with um a local videographer, or who you who you send out for somebody? Um, the last video was on Long Island. The video before that was in LA. So like, I'll be like mix matching because I'm between. Uh, Long Island and LA. You know oh, what I'm saying? Right. So when you're in LA, you fuck with the LA one. Yeah, yeah, here. exactly. But I actually just bought uh, my first place out here on Long Island. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so, so, you, so you got your own place at 20? Yes, sir, bro. Home yeah, at 20. You know what, you got a house? Yeah. Oh, you was a real Long Island. Yeah. You went bought a house. Man. Yeah, no, and, and what they don't know about this, mm -hmm. unless like you're from Long Island, is like, it's not easy to get your own shit on Long Island. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they be taxing like crazy out there, you feel me? Yeah, New York taxes, period. Nah, it's, it really is crazy. Mm -hmm. It really is. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's tough, but I've been putting the work in, so... You feel me? But let people know how much a 20-year-old spending on the house, man. How much you how much you cash that? I, I can't be saying that. I can't be saying that. What I will you, say... You at the 300K side or you at the 800, 2 million side of Long Island? What side are you at? Like, you know, the, the middle. I didn't okay, know, right, the middle. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, the right, middle. Right, you feel me? Right. But, but soon, give it a year, mm -hmm. it's going to be on that two mil side. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, and, you know, all real ice. You know what I'm You feel oh, me? Oh, yeah. That's New that's pieces. Your dancing. That's your dancing. Yeah, that's you know, the it. vibes. No fake shit over here. <laughs> I know a lot of you be buying fake shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's crazy. It's kind of crazy because, like, the dudes that was hating on me, one specific dude, um, I don't know if I should name drop him, but... If you want to, you can name this Mel TV. You can name drop if you want. It's up to you if you name drop, because, you know, it's going out there to everybody. So that's all you after you name drop. Um, nah, I, I, won't even, I won't even name drop him. Okay, but, but... Basically, you can kind of get the idea of how I tell you. But basically, when I was just starting out this shit, mm -hmm. there's this rapper um, who, was, who was signed at the time... Uh, he was like, you know, kind of lit, kind of lit, um, from, Jersey, from, Jersey. Or he was from Jersey, from Jersey, okay. um, and, uh, he was hating on me, like, he was hating on me like crazy, um, I hit him up to work, he was dumbing that shit, um, and I was actually with the A&R, like, fast forward a couple months when I started to get lit, I was with the A&R that signed him, and he was, like, doing the most, like, he was calling people on my behalf, like, mm -hmm. Saying like, don't fuck with him, don't fuck with him, don't fuck with him. He was doing the most. So why though? Because he didn't fight. He didn't fight. He's a cornball. So basically, man, you took a nigga girl or some shit, man. What you, basically, what, what happened you, is you, I made a video. Mm -hmm. I made a video like calling him out, and mm -hmm. you know you could find this shit, and um, that shit went super viral, like 500k views on Instagram, mm -hmm. and he was just doing the most from there. So fast forward to now, I'm in the position. I'm meeting with labels, doing this, that, you know, winning, and he got dropped, mm -hmm. and he came out, like, uh, his paperwork came out, he's a snitch, Damn. and he's a nobody now, he's a complete bum, you know Damn, what I'm saying? that's rough. So, you know what I'm saying, uh, at this point, I was gonna name drop him, but it doesn't even benefit me now. Yeah. It, it would be benefiting him at this point, mm -hmm. you feel me? No, you definitely can't, you gotta be strategic. You know? you know what I'm saying? So, but there's, there's been instances like that where, uh, you know, people trying to, you know, knock me off my grind. Um, I was at the jewelry store actually a few months ago, mm -hmm. and I posted it in my hometown. I posted it on my story, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating. There must have been like 25 people pull up, and I was 3D. I was 3D. I was 3D, and I stood my ground, and nothing happened to me. Oh God, that's good. You know what I'm saying? So they be talking, but. Nothing's happened, so I'm gonna just keep winning. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just keep leveling up, yeah, and um, cool. that's that's how it is right now. Do you, yo, you think though, like you may get slept on, or people come at you because you white? I mean, honestly, I like, feel like honestly, I feel like it's a blessing and a curse. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Explain. Get into that. Let the people. Um, I mean, like you said, um, I think it's a blessing because. I look at it as a blessing because there's not as many white rappers doing their thing, which isn't like, uh, a, like a, a, which isn't a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like there's not as many, mm -hmm. but um, so I kind of stand out, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a curse because, like you said, some people might take me seriously, but I'm gonna just let the music speak for itself. I'm gonna put numbers up on the board mm -hmm. until they have no force but to take me seriously. You get what I'm saying? Oh. I'm going to just let the music speak for itself. You feel me? And when they hear the music, if they ain't hear it yet, yo, 
It shit sound like a, a, a artist is already on, bro. Like, I mean, like, super on. You sound like ready, already, all that. So, yeah, no, I we got to get ready to get in tune, most, man. It's about to happen soon. Most definitely, most you know? definitely. The, you know, I say, don't believe me saying I'm this and that. Don't believe me saying I'm the hottest on Long Island. Do your research. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, check, check Instagram, check YouTube, check Spotify, check the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not even going to talk about the people who are saying this and that. You know, because there's no numbers behind them. Check the numbers, you feel me? That's that's how you know how someone's really lit, you know what I'm saying? Right. They can talk as much as they want, but at the end of the day, it's the numbers on the board, you feel me? Yeah, that's, what it, that's what matters. That's what counts at the end of the day, you know? Facts. Uh, so what we can expect next from you, man? So we got the next single dropping, um, mm-hmm. more music videos, mm-hmm. um, a big collab I got coming on the way. I can't say it, Okay. but a very big artist. Mm-hmm. Very, very big artist. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, just to keep leveling up. You feel me? Yeah, of course. Uh, what's your Instagram and all that? Keep so, people want to contact. Uh, that's the kid. That's mm-hmm. the kid. Eight two three. Uh, and also to clear that up, that's not I, a gang. I was about to just. That's not party. gang. I've been, I've been hit up. Eight two three. I'm just so about listen, to ask. listen. Right. I've been hit up since I started. Crazy. Take the eight two three at your name. What's that eight two three? What's that? What's that? Eight two three is my birthday, which was yesterday, August twenty third. Right. So it's eight two three. It's not gang affiliated. It's my birthday, August twenty third. Okay. You feel me? Right, so yeah, just to clear that, I had to clear that up. You get what I'm that's saying? That's the question I forgot to ask you, bro. Yeah, right. no so facts. So the bro saying he's not gang affiliated. He's not crip. None of that. Correct. All right. It's just my birthday. You feel me? Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just my birthday. Okay. Put like a cool spin on that shit. So yeah, yeah facts. We gotta do what works for you because work can keep going, bro.